Hey everybody, welcome back to our video mess. So Tarek and we are continuing the series on the Mr. EpiJ DE10 Nano Project. And while I may be a few days late with this video, I was on vacation. Yes, even I walk away from the computer sometimes. The Splatterhouse core from Hoteko and his team is here. And this has been one of the cores I've been looking forward to the entire year. Because this is one of my favorite 2D arcade beat-em-up games of all time. It is here, it's in beta, and while it does have a few visual glitches, you can play Splatterhouse on Mr. FPGA today. And that is absolutely incredible and interestingly when i was on vacation i did bring my mister along to show my father-in-law who is an electronics engineer and helped on the apollo missions back in the day with some camera technology and while he had no idea what splatterhouse was showing this running to him as well as the entire mister project he was absolutely blown away by what this device can do across vintage pcs consoles and arcades and that is why i'm so happy to have splatterhouse here right now because this has been one of my favorite arcade games of all time i've always wanted to to buy a PCB but they're close to $2,000 now and I actually own an FM Towns Marty version of this and that goes to close to $1,000 now definitely didn't pay that much back in the day but this game for real hardware is insanely expensive now you will see a little bit of visual glitching there in the right hand corner this is still in beta it seems like Hotego and his team wanted to get this out by Halloween and I cannot blame them but this is not 100% finished yet so you should expect to see updates of this in the future but the actual actual mechanics, the gameplay, everything you would expect out of Splatterhouse works 100% here. It's responsive, it's fun, and it is gory, and that was great to see for Halloween. Now, of course, we have it available on Mr. FPJ, and this is a Mr. Video, but it actually came out for Analog Pocket as well, so there is more than one way to play this, but obviously Mr. is my primary means of FPGA gaming, so that is what we're taking a look at here. And big thanks to Pixel Cherry Ninja for letting me borrow a couple minutes of footage. I only had time to capture a little bit of this and use some footage from other versions of Splatterhouse that I'll explain in a little bit. So a big thanks to him. I'll leave a link to his channel below. And I don't care what most people say about him. I think his personal hygiene is totally fine. All jokes aside, you'll see here, you can cheese this boss if you know exactly where to stand. And you should be able to cheese it if you're playing on real hardware as well. That's kind of the fun thing about games like this. When you get so used to knowing them, you know how to exploit the game. If you move over to the right hand side of the screen here, duck down and just spam kick attacks, you should be invulnerable enough to be able to pull it off. My first attempt, I did not have the right pixel placement, but on my second attempt, I get right up against that wall and you cannot get hit over here enough times in the battle if you come in with full health to actually die. This is the type of thing you want to see on FPGA because if you can pull it off on the core compared to real hard where you know it's operating exactly the same. So while there may be some visual glitches in Splatterhouse right now, the actual performance is 100% there. And again, this game is just iconic. This is one of the most well-known arcade games of all time, in my opinion. And when this came out, it was gorier and more over-the-top than pretty much any other game we had ever seen in arcades outside of something like Chiller, which had no gameplay whatsoever, was just there for the gore. Splatterhouse delivers the horror, delivers all of those decapitations while also being an extremely difficult, fun, and effective 2D hack and slash beat em up. The franchise went on to have two more games on the Sega Genesis and a remake on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, which honestly you can pretty much disregard. But it's so amazing to have this core available. I love getting stuff like this, and that also brings a lot of the other Namco System 1 games as potentials in the future as well because there's a lot of different games that run on this hardware, but for my money splatterhouse is 100 the best game you can play and you definitely want to check that out and this is a comparison here is some real footage from the fm towns marty version captured on real hardware running an s video you can see how close they were but the only arcade perfect port is the arcade version itself but i love the soundtrack in this game and it sounds great on mister so go ahead and listen for like 45 seconds and i'll be back with more splatterhouse fun
Just sounds so good. And if you are one of my viewers that owns an analog pocket and not a mister and you watch my channel for the pocket content, Hotego does have the beta core for that as well. And it seems like the performance is pretty much consistent across both devices. So whichever one you use, you can definitely enjoy it. But putting the mister footage next to a MAME capture, you can kind of compare the performance of each one, the animations, the colors, and everything else. And I would say they're extremely close. It seems like in MAME, the colors might be a little bit more saturated. The red color of the blood is a little bit more vibrant over on MAME, but the muted color profile on Mister is closer to what the original hardware looks like in my opinion, and kind of sells more of the drab colorway. But as far as actually playing the games are concerned, MAME does a really good job of emulating this board, and obviously so does Mister. MAME's had a big head start, and obviously Mister has a few glitches, but otherwise everything is pretty close to good, except the intro to the stage here. You're going to see these letterboxing sprite issues go through the door and then go through Rick and the Terror Mask. These are things that are going to come up and improve later, but as we move on to the next stage here in a MAME capture, you're going to see that we don't have those issues whatsoever. So this is an area in which Mr. needs to improve, and if we pop one more time over to the FM Towns Marty capture, this is the only port that had this feature in. Every other port cut this little screen, and it is something that will definitely get improved in the future as far as the cores are concerned, because it is something that isn't working correctly. But outside of a few of those little visual glitches, when we're down here in the basement, avoiding these spike balls it just looks sounds feels and plays like the original splatterhouse and i'm actually surprised it took so long to get this game over on mister almost to 2024 i really would have thought this would be something that got done earlier but it is one of those things we're happy when we get things but if you've never played splatterhouse before be very very well aware that this is an incredibly difficult game that is going to kill you over and over again if you get good at it it's not going to take long at all to see the end credits but the amount of work you're going to have to put in to get there is going to be massive but it's one of those things. This is just a classic, and somebody actually donated a board to Hotego and his team to reverse engineer, and that is how all of this gets done. Splatterhouse is not a common board. It's a very expensive board, so if you actually need to get one in front of you to reverse engineer it for FPGA, you might need to wait for somebody to actually offer it to you. Now I'm going to go through the intros here, one on Mister and one on MAME, and you're going to see just how weird the graphics can be. This brown and black little border here, you would think that is a glitch, and maybe it is on original hardware, but it is inherent to the original arcade board. It's such a strange looking thing, but no matter what source you go to, original arcade hardware, Mister, Analog Pocket, MAME, even the FM Towns Marty version, this is always going to occur. So if you think that isn't correct, it is one of those things that it might be a glitch in the arcade hardware itself but it's going to replicate perfectly across onto Mr. So sometimes accuracy means it looks a little bit weird. But it's just so incredible to see this running on Mr. This is one of those games, if you know it, you love it, and if for some strange reason you've never played Splatterhouse before, you 100% owe it to me, the person that makes these videos, to go and play it after this video is over. Because it is such a wild ride. What other games are going to allow you to harpoon a zombie and a monster through the chest, and as he grabs that harpoon to try to pull it out, his guts just dissolve right in front of you. Do be aware that there's different versions of this game, and some of them will be censored, but I'm pretty sure the arcade version is uncensored the entire way through, no matter what region you play. And there are different ROM variants, so you can kind of play around with that as well. But whatever you do, you 100% have to play Splatterhouse, even though the Halloween season is over and we're getting close to Thanksgiving here. It is one of those Hall of Fame level good games that pretty much everyone knows and remembers. And I hope one day we get a Splatterhouse 4 in 2D from some developer that loves this property, because while the 3D remake was an interesting game, it definitely was nowhere near as good as any of the 2D entries. But Splatterhouse is here today on Mr. FPJ if you're a Hotego beta member, and it seems like it takes three to six months for games to go from being beta member things to being available to the public. So if you're going to ask me down below when it'll be out, I have absolutely no idea. But grab your misters, grab your IO boards, grab your RAM, run and grab your Terror Mask and play Splatterhouse today. Even if there are some visual glitches in the game, it is a straight 10 out of 10 core because it is here now and I can enjoy it. Short of that, leave me a comment down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.